Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our tutorials. This is Super Sam once again, and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how you can import and manage your sound files in Blender 2.81. So let's get started. <music> To work with sound files, you need to import your sound files first. And there are several reasons why you need to import a sound file to work with in Blender 2.81. One of which could be you trying to animate your character to a lip sync. So I'm going to show you how you can import your sound file in Blender using the short chords and using the longer chords. And then I'm going to show you how you can manipulate the sound tracks. You edit them to suit your animation. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the first method, which is the shortcut to importing the sound. Make sure you change the file editor to video sequencer. And under this video sequencer, we have other options too. We have the preview and we have sequencer and preview. This will be treated in other videos, but for this video, we're going to limit ourselves to the sequencer alone. All right. Now, I want to import the soundtrack and I'm going to do that by using the shortcut Shift A. So once you punch Shift and A on your keyboard, you have this option to select from. And then I'm going to select on the sound because I want to import a sound file. Now, clicking on the sound gives me this um, file browser and I can select my soundtrack here. But for you, if your, if your, if your soundtrack is not seen, within this file browser you can easily click on um, the windows the window c or the d drive with respect to whatever you have on your system to get the location of your soundtrack okay but for me i'm good with this location and so i'm going to double click on the soundtrack to import it in my scene or i can click on add sound strip so i'm going to click on this now that imports the sound in my scene listen to what we have Sounds too loud, so I'm gonna reduce the volume. And perfect. So this is the first part of this uh, tutorial. The next part is to show you how you can manipulate or work with your sound files. Now this here is called the sound strip in Blender, so I'm gonna to refer to it as the sound strip for it. So now I want to move my sound strip around. To do that, I'm gonna click on the sound strip, hold, and then drag. So I'm dragging forward to push it forward, I'm dragging backwards to push it backwards. I can drag up to push it upwards and I can drag down to push it downwards. So depending on what you want to do, you're very free to do that. It's so easy to work with, just take it around, that's all. Now you can also use the shortcut to do the same thing by punching on G on your keyboard. And once you do that, I can easily move around by hovering my mouse around and if I'm okay with the position, I just click again to lock down that current position. Bam! And that settles it. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to snap your sound strip to a particular frame. Say for example, I want my sound strip to start on the 120th frame. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure my, my playhead is on 120. And you can, you can see the values down here. So. 120 so that's it that's one way to get an exact uh, frame number let me show you another way you can easily click on this and then just put type in your value 120 and that's it to it so now i have my play head on the 120th frame and um, i need to snap my sound strip onto that frame very simple i can use the short cut shift and s and that gives me what I wanted exactly. So I'm having my sound strip being snapped automatically to my playhead. So that's how it works, Shift and S. And in case you, you forget the, the shortcut, you can easily do the same thing via a longer cut by coming to Strip. And then um, you have to go to Transform. And now you see Snap Strips to play head and that's shift s so there you have it the next thing i want to show you 
is how to um, edit this sound straight to suit your animation. So first, listen to what we have again. All right, now I want to split this sound strip in two parts and then the first part would contain the oops and the second part would contain the sorry. And to do this, there are two ways to do that. You can either use the shortcut or you can go via the longer cut. So I'm going to show you the shortcut first and then I'm going to show you how to do it the longer way. So clicking on the sound strip, I'm going to use the shortcut K to split my strip in two. So I have my strip in two, as you can see here. I'm going to pull the second one apart for you to see clearly what I have. So we have, and then for this we have, so I would like to edit this to have the oops in the first part and then the sorry on the second part. Now to edit this, I can click on this last part. You can see this grid out uh, backwards triangle, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, okay? So I'm going to click on this and pull this backwards to make it shorter. And now when I click on this, I have my oops already. The longer way to, there's, there's a shortcut to also um, edit your sound strip, which is E. So when you punch on E, make sure the sound strip is selected and then punch on E. As soon as I punch on that E, you can see I can make it longer and also make the strip shorter. So once you are okay with, uh, the particular length just click and that locks down the current length of your strip but for me i think we got the length we wanted so i'm going to use ctrl z to undo that and i'm going to play the sound to be sure i have my oops on the first strip perfect so i want sorry on the second strip we need to edit that together too now the sorry started too early so i'm going to pull this backwards Perfect. So I don't want this other part. I can easily trim it back to. Sorry. All right. So that's a perfect uh, sound editing. So I have my oops and then I have my sorry. Now to import a second strip, I showed you the the, the shortcut how to bring in the, the the strip. Now the second way of bringing in your strip is through this longer cut. Just go to add and click on add. You go to sound and then you can double click on the other strip and that gives you this <laughs> all right so i'm going to pull this upward for you to see what that looks like and i'm going to split this second strip in two parts too now i've shown you how to do that using the command k i want to show you how to do this using a uh, command shift k this time around and also tell you the difference between the K and the Shift K. So using, um, clicking on Shift K, that splits the sound strip in two, just like we did earlier on. But the difference is, but the difference is, I can't pull this out, right? You can see, because it's, 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 it's a hold cut. I can't pull it out. And for this other part too, I can't pull it out, but I can pull it in, but then I can't pull it out. But for this first method, the K method, I can pull it out, I can also pull it in. For the other strip, I can also pull that out and in. So using K gives me more creative um, license to work with my editing sound, my, my edits. So if, if, if you want to have such um, creative license over your stuff, if you want to be in control, I would advise you go with uh, K and not Shift K, okay? Then I want to show you how to duplicate your strip by the longer cuts. Just click on the strip, then right click and you can click on duplicate strip. Or you can do the same thing using the, the shortcut, shift D, that duplicates your, your stuff. Just like that, okay? And also, if you want to split this, via the longer cut you can come to strip here and then you can go to cut you can see the shortcut here k you click on that that splits the soundtrack for you and you can also do the same right click 
click on the sound strip, go to strip, and then hold cut shift key, which is the second way of um, cutting your strip. Like I said, you don't have the, the creative license to pull this, you have no control over that. You can't also extend this to, you have no control over that, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to delete your soundtrack because there, there are reasons to delete. Sometimes you have um, more duplicates than needed. Sometimes you just change your mind over a particular strip and you don't want it anymore in your scene. So this is how you delete. The first way to delete is clicking on the strip and then using the delete button on your keyboard. As soon as I punch that, I can delete the strip. That's one way. Another way to delete is clicking on the sound strip and then using the X command on your keyboard. When you punch on the X, I can also delete by clicking on erase strip. That's another way. Then a third way of doing this is right clicking on the sound strip and then going to delete and clicking on that. So these are three different ways to delete your sound strip. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete all these ones and stretch. Oh, I can't stretch this because uh, it was split head using the shift K command. So you just have to be very careful when you want to use the shift K command. Of course, there are situations where you can use shift K, but most of the times I don't use it. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this anyway and then import another sound just because I can, not because it's needed in this uh, episode. As a matter of fact, this is where I'm gonna call it a wrap. So I hope you've learned uh, one or two things about how to import and manage your files, your, your files, your audio files in Blender 2.81. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so, and remember to click on the notification bell in order to get notified every time we upload and update new videos like this. So guys, until next time, keep your creativity blending.